These are the new T-Series anamorphic lenses by Moment. We have the 1.33 and the 1.55. Super excited. I just remember when this was just a dream in the minds of Moment Engineers. So to see how far it has come is actually super awesome. Today is pretty simple. I have come here to put these bad boys through their paces and really see how good they look and get you as much test footage as possible so you can make an informed, educated buying decision. But I do not think you're going to be disappointed because they're looking nice. Cool, should we start shooting or are we just gonna drink iced lattes all day? Still hits the same after all these years. One of my favorite things about shooting on a phone is just how easy it is to throw it on a gimbal, run around, get super stable shots, and you're not throwing out your back. Between this gimbal, this lens, this is such a sick setup. So, so far, I've just been super pleased with what I've seen, but we have a lot more, a lot more shooting to do. All right, so we got the 1.55 on, and that extra squeeze, I'm telling y'all, it, it just does something to me. I was so nervous about impending, I didn't even watch my shot. I just watched how close the skateboard got. Damn, that looks sick. All right. All right, everybody, that was super fun. I am sweatier than I thought I was gonna get, but I'm also more pleased than I thought I was gonna be with both those lenses. They look great. I was able to get some good footage. Shooting inside on phones can be pretty challenging, but overall, the anamorphic lens, both of them, just really help you get a good image. But I'm gonna give these bad boys to Victor. He, he's the new, the new us right here. I mean, just. What's up? What's up, new us? All right, new generation, new lenses. Let's go. Wow, T-Series, yeah. Victor. <laughs> We're gonna keep kind of getting some cool shots on the new T-Series lenses, so let's go. All right, everyone, so we are back for day two, and it was incredibly fun shooting with Niles in the studio yesterday. And honestly, if you want cinematic images on your phone, these are the cheat codes. So what I'm gonna do is give you a direct comparison between the 1.33 and the 1.55 squeeze anamorphic lenses, so that way you can decide which is best for you. So let's go. All right, so with the 1.33 anamorphic, you have that classic 1.85 to one aspect ratio. And this is the aspect ratio that you see majority of your favorite movies shot on. And now we switch to the 1.55 squeeze anamorphic, and as you can see, it's even more stretched out than the 1.33, which this can be great if you really want an even more wide aspect ratio. All right, everyone, so now that I am back home, I finally got a chance to look at all of the footage on my computer, and I must say, every single time we shoot on a phone and anamorphic combo, we are always blown away. But now with the T-Series being our latest generation of anamorphic lenses, we now have redesigned them to have a larger mount, and also they have 20% more glass to be better optimized for your newer generations of iPhone and Android devices. And we know one anamorphic lens isn't a perfect one-size-fits-all for every filmmaker, so what's really cool is that we have the 1.33 and also the 1.33. 5.5 anamorphic, both available in gold and blue flares. And with that being said, you can go find more information about these lenses on shopmoment.com slash t-series. Anyways, thanks for watching and let us know if you are as hyped as we are on the new t-series anamorphics.